what could have been a horrible disaster, you've turned into something really kind of wonderful. An adventure. An adventure, <laughs> yeah. For sure. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting Thad and Kristen, and strangers who drove by and we waved them down and, and said hi. So welcome to Cheap RV Living. This is my YouTube channel. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And I, you drove by and I saw your rig and I thought, wow, what a great rig. And I bet there's a great story behind that. So what's your story? <laughs> uh, we just uh, decided when the pandemic hit that we were going to kind of get out and explore America. So we had a Tacoma and what we could pull was less than 3,000 pounds. And this was in the teardrop range. So that's how we ended up with this rig. And my wife picked out the tires and it's been great. And so you just uh, hit the road and, and you've been, uh, what we call boondocking just out on public land. Yes. yes, sir. And just you go down to BLM or National Forest, find a place and camp. Correct. Correct. And uh, we're at near Quartzsite now. So you've been exploring this area. We have. And uh, you said you'd been to Mexico. We have. We just got back from Mexico. We visited Puerto Penasco uh, for a couple days and took the rig down there and explored around and found some RV parks there. And it was amazing. Food was amazing. People were amazing. It was a good place to be. Yeah. So. So the pandemic for a lot of people has been a real tragedy. I mean, and well, of course, with all the death, the death is always a tragedy. But for even if it's not hit you, the death hasn't hit you. It's been very upsetting. So it hasn't been a, a terrible disaster for you. No, it hasn't. We've tried to turn it into as much of a positive as we can. And I think we follow mo all the rules and keep the social distancing. And the way to do that is out here. It feels safe out here. It does. Uh, it, it's really nice to be outside. And we know we're from Baltimore, Maryland, and there's a lot of anxiety and stuff going on there. But we feel like we got to separate ourselves a little bit from it and then explore America. So I don't there. You can't beat it. it it's amazing out here. Right. Yeah. And so like now there's a little breeze. So we're pretty good distance away. It's as safe as you can be, I think. And so this what could have been a horrible disaster, you've turned into something really kind of wonderful. An adventure. An adventure, yeah. <laughs> For sure. So when did you start? We started in August, and we started uh, from Maryland and went to Montana and then have worked our way through, I don't know how many states, but including California and Colorado and Utah and... Uh, on down. On down, even in Mexico. So, and I think the most amazing part has been just the people we've met. Uh, that's what tells me everything's good out here because the people on the road are just incredible. It's the best part as far as I'm concerned. I mean, seeing the country and doing things, that's all wonderful, but people, that makes it. And so you've kind of got a little troop you're <laughs> traveling with here. We have friends that we've met along the way and we just keep meeting up with them because we have so much fun with them and we love them. It's like a it's like a family out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's been my experience. I've done this a long time and that's always been my experience. You Would you say you've had more you're making more friends out here than you made at home or about the same? Um I say we're making about the same, but the relationships are definitely different and it's a good like amazing thing cuz you're just meeting people from all walks of life. Right. Everybody's doing something different, everybody has something different. Um, but we all have a common uh, agenda and a common idea, and that's what brings everybody to, together. It seems, yeah. So. Yeah, I think I've always thought the relationships were a little deeper. Um, you know, if you know you're only going to see someone for uh, maybe a few days or a week, you, know, you don't have much time. You got to kind of get to open up and let them yes. open up and make a, a bonded connection. And a lot of. And I think that we have done that. <laughs> yeah, sure. a lot of great memories are being just made by fire at night. Yes. Yeah. You know, to stay warm, everybody tries to find that same energy. And by a fire, you can really get to know people yeah. <laughs> and have a lot of fun. Yeah. So. And, you know, a lot of the stress has fallen away out here. And you're not as, all, your mind isn't going around and around with the boss and the traffic and the, the landlord and on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. It's just, a, it's a really good way to live. So you've been doing it now since August. And what do you think? Would you continue? 
Oh yes, we're planning on continuing. Um, as you know, as, as long can. as we can. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, we don't we don't want to stop. We kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the problem is going back. I think, but we have no plans in sight to go back just because we love it out here so much, right? And the relationships we're making. So, right. Of course, the issue is uh, you're young, so I'm older. I'm on. I got a fixed income, Social Security. Uh, how will you support yourself then? Have you given that much thought afterwards? COVID COVID settles down sometime this year, right. and you're forced to make a decision. We'll do everything we can to stay out here. Uh, I think that's what we did when we left, and I think we'll continue to do that, even if it's finding odd jobs or doing whatever yeah. we need to do. We're right. Uh, we're just willing to do whatever it takes to kind of stay on the road and keep doing this. Yeah, it's addictive, isn't it? It, it is. is. You know, <laughs> the the people you meet, the places you see, and the things you do. It's, it's incredible. Just, it gets in your it heart does. and mind. And you kind of want to go. Yeah. You just want to keep going. Yeah. There's always there's always another corner to go around. And uh, <laughs> something wonderful is waiting for you there. For yeah. sure. Now, it couldn't have all been, uh, you know, peaches and cream. You must have had some time. Have you had any times that you were struggling or thought this was hard? Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, dealing with, you know, freezing temperatures is a yeah. challenge. Um, right. And just, you know... We pretty much live outside full time. We don't, we don't even, we can't get inside and just hang out or do something or get out of the elements. If we do, we're kind of in our bed and that is it. Like, so we have to figure out how to just be outside all the time, which has been only a challenge in the cold weather. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes when it gets real hot, Right. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll, I'm sure we'll manage it just yeah. fine. So would then maybe if you were going to do it longer, would you change the rig or? We've thought about that, but we haven't really gotten into the spring and summer with our rig. So I think that will change as the seasons change. So, but I think it's, I don't think there's a perfect rig. No. Um, I, I think that's what we're seeing. We have friends that we love their rigs and they love our rigs and we would trade out for, you know, whatever reason, but I think there's no perfect rig to have no, out here. Right. Um, but you make do with what you have and yep. you just run with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is working great for you apparently because you're is. loving your life. Love yeah. It. yeah. It's easy to tell. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to store. People are always curious about details. And so they want to know how you go to the bathroom. Yeah. That is, um, we got to go to the bathroom outside and we ca carry a shovel. So it's um, cat holes for us. <laughs> cat holes Unless for we us. Have, you know, uh, uh, facilities around. But other than that, we, we are cat holing. Cat. Sure. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly legal. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. Humans do, have been doing it for millions of years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do bird baths in <laughs> gas stations and things like that to stay as clean as we possibly can. But, sure. Um, Our solar showers helped out a lot. Yeah. yeah. So if it gets warm enough, we get a shower. Right. Which isn't too bad. Right. Right. You're going camping. Basically, yep. you're just going camping and you figure out the solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. Right. For sure. Okay. So there's other people out there and they're thinking, well, I'd love to do that, but I can't because, and they always fill in the blank there with something and if they they're always filling the blank what what's your advice to them just unhinge and decide to make the decision and go um i don't think you can prepare for everything but once you get out here you're gonna have a hard time going back yeah yeah just take the jump yeah just take the chance take, it. take the chance yeah it's been great for you <laughs> it's been wonderful yeah and you said something earlier that was so important. You said well, you've made all these wonderful memories. Oh, yeah. For sure. And say this was all a horrible disaster. <laughs> you would still treasure the memories the rest of your life. Absolutely. Yeah. And the friends. And the friends. Yeah, the friends are just incredible. We just can't get enough of all the people that we're meeting out here. Yeah. So everybody's so nice to one another and yeah. helpful. and Giving. Giving. And sure. It's, it's incredible. Good. It's, it's like nothing community. we've ever experienced. Right, right. Well, great. Can we um, take a peek inside your rig? A lot sure. Are you sure? Absolutely. Sure. Okay. In here is literally just a trifold queen size uh, mattress, a full size queen size mattress under here. Um, and we have some storage underneath of that. Um, we have several cabinets and a ton of lighting in this thing, more than uh, we have ever actually used. 
Um, you know, we have awnings, we have screen doors, um, under cabinet lighting in here, um, and then outside lighting. So lights on both sides of the camper, front and back, and then this side and that side. So you can, you're you're fairly tall, but you can stretch out all just fine. Sure. Yeah. And we fit two dogs in there. Hell yeah, and you have your two dogs. And there's a lot of inside storage. There is, and they're deep cabinets. Yeah, I can see that, those are. I wasn't familiar with these trailers. Uh, have you been happy with it? It's done well for you? It's been amazing. The insulation's been fantastic and it's been very comfortable. And so in back, you must have a kitchen. We do. So man, you got some great um, big tires and axles on this thing. This is our fresh water um, fill. Mm -hmm. 24 gallons. 24 whole gallons. We oh, don't wow. have a black water or a gray water tank. Um, we use um, a bucket underneath there to catch our gray water. Mm -hmm. Obviously using sure. biodegradable soap. Um, we cook on our camp stove that attaches to our propane tank that's on the side. Mm -hmm. um, and then our spare tire, um, tailgate pulls out and these lovely shelves pop up so we have even more space and deep kitchen that's falling oh, wow. down but that's okay very deep cabinets right <laughs> yeah no that's great there's a huge amount of storage here you got mm -hmm. running water and you don't have hot water we don't have hot water which oh, is fine we do have hot water we do yeah. <laughs> we do have hot water uh, but we don't use it <laughs> we have an instant hot water oh that. sure yes. uh, propane yes mm -hmm. yes great and that's and this just all slides in, shuts down, and um, makes it really easy to get out of town. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love the bumper you guys put on that. Is that st one of the standard ones they that's sell? That's standard. I'll have to, uh, they're nearby. I'll run down and see if they'll even take a tour with them. And let me look at the trailer, or the propane tank you said. It, it actually mounts on, the, the stove actually mounts over here? Uh, this propane tank. The pro ta propane tank right. mounts. Yeah. We put the stove on the side. Uh, there is an option to get the stove put in the galley, uh, but we decided for a detachable stove. They also sure. put Traeger grills inside the uh -huh. galley, so they custom do them, and then we have our second propane tank. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we run on solar. We have the uh, capability to hook up if we uh, had electricity, um, but we've been doing pretty well with just our solar panels. Nice. That is a beautiful off-road trailer. Thank you. And with the, with your great Tacoma, that's uh, really an amazing setup. Thank you. We love yeah. it. Yeah. It suits our needs. Yeah. And then have you had it pretty far off country, back country, or? We have. We've had it in from Moab to Sedona, um, back on BLM lands. We've pretty much taken it everywhere you could take it that we feel like we're going to do in the future. And it it holds up really nicely. Good. So you you recommend it. You were real happy Absolutely. with it. Highly. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. And the guys who built it have been wonderful. So. Well, that is, uh, and Kristen, I really appreciate that uh, you shared your home and your life with us. We just flagged you down and you're real sports Thanks to have done this. Interest. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you want to follow us at Hunter's Dog House underscore Instagram. That's our Instagram. Yeah. Hunter's Doghouse. Yes. Good. Underscore. Mm -hmm. Underscore at, uh, on Instagram. Very good. Everyone should check them out. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll uh, really appreciate it. So, folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.